Good morning, friends. Good morning, Americans. Welcome to Pray for America. A few minutes of prayer for our country, for our world, for our marriages, for our lives, for our loved ones, for our health, for our wealth. Based on 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Glory to God. Yes, we pray based on 2 Chronicles 7, 14, and really based on the entire word of God that teaches us that we have a relationship with our Heavenly Father. We have a relationship with His Son, our brother, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and based on that relationship, we know that we can uh, come before Him. And it's not just a, you know, it's not like a, a we're standing outside the gate shouting and our voices are just uh, in with the masses. Even though there are millions of people praying right now, probably, almost certainly, um, God has the amazing ability to single you out. You, Mary, Jim, my brother and sister, good morning. And all who will, will see this later, all who are about to come on, <clears throat> what a joy to know that he knows you so intimately. He's got your number. <clears throat> this is a song I started working on a while a while ago, and I want to begin this morning with the latest uh, the the latest place the song is. Um, <clears throat> may not sound anything like this by the time it gets recorded, <clears throat> but it it struck my mind this morning, and I thought it would make a great foundation for our prayer. It's called Served by Love. And in good times, in bad times, in hardship, and in plenty, the Lord is the same. He loves us. His grace is sufficient for us, no matter where we find ourselves. When I think of all my sin carried on the cross, I don't deserve your love. You took all my filthy rags and paid the greatest cost. I have been served by love. As we come before your throne this morning, gracious Heavenly Father that we love so much, and Jesus Christ, our brother, God's Son, who intercedes for us before the throne of God. We worship you. We express our gratitude. Hey, Beth, good to see you, Alyssa. You lifted me up and set my feet upon a rock. I don't deserve your love. You forgave my wicked ways and taught me how to walk. I have been served by love. For your love reached down and found me as I wallowed in my shame. And you wrapped your arms around me And you have given me your name Hey, Will. 
If I live a thousand years, my heart will still proclaim I have been served by love. If I summed up everything I've learned about your name, I don't deserve your love. For your love reached down and found me as I wallowed in my shame. And you wrapped your arms around me and have given me your name. Christians, Christ followers, with Jesus on the inside. For you wrapped your arms around me and have given me your name. worship you, Lord. We come before you this morning with joy in our hearts and a song on our lips. We enter your gates with thanksgiving. We enter your courts with praise. You are worthy to be praised. Lord, we find ourselves some in a great place, some full of rejoicing and celebration, others suffering, struggling, some with jobs, some without jobs, some at a point of decision. Dear God, you are there for all of us. This day has not taken us by surprise. I mean, it may have taken us by surprise, but it has not taken you by surprise because you know everything and you see every day, you see every moment. And you know, Lord God, that we are racing toward that day when you will catch away your bride. Hallelujah. It'll seem like a breath if you're 20 or if you're 60 or if you're 90. We'll all be in his presence. Mm. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Lord, we lift up our country today. We lift up our homeland, America. And we pray, Father God, that you will bring revival in this land. Lord, we pray that you would raise up godly, worshiping, humble leaders in our midst, Father. And we pray that you'll give us wisdom to know what role we can play how we can participate in bringing that about. Dear God, we want to be obedient. Lord, we have offered our, ourselves as willing sacrifices, as it says in Romans 12. Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to the Lord, which is our reasonable service. Good to see you, Christian. All right, amigo. Met you in Tampa at River Church. Mm. Love that place. Love me some Rodney Howard Brown. Oh, that guy is so anointed. What a what a blessed what a blessed people uh, the members of that church are to be able to sit in the presence of the Lord every single day. Wow, how exciting! Lord God, we lift up our choices, our decisions, Father, and I pray, Father, that you will direct us by your peace. The peace that passes understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You know, I I read the news and, and I read about what's happening in Afghanistan and um, I, I could be tempted and really even in our own country, I could be so tempted to fear. And, and frankly, I just have to be honest, I am tempted to fear and I would imagine Many are as well. Um, this morning, this very morning, I woke up 
and there was apprehension on my body. It, it, it must have come during the night because I woke up with it. I don't think I woke up and then it was there. I think it was there as I woke up, which is not fair. We shouldn't be able to be attacked in our sleep. But I immediately thought of the Word of God and how if Christ is for us, who can be against us? Um, scripture started rolling into my mind that became weapons in my hands. The, the, um, the Word of God is a sword, the sword of the Spirit. And so I used that sword against uh, the um, initiators, the, the uh, suggestors that I'd be afraid. Much like uh, in the book of Nehemiah, he was building the wall, he was going around uh, doing the will of God, and his enemies, those demonic forces with names Tobiah and Sanballat, they were real people, but they were... Um, motivated and driven by uh, demonic power, I believe. And, uh, you know, demons can suggest things to our minds as well. And we have a choice. We can either uh, agree with those demonic powers and um, say, yes, you're speaking the truth. I receive what you're saying. Or we can stand against it with the power of the word of the Lord and the sword of the Spirit. So right now, for those of us who are going through an attempt by the enemy to make us afraid, to make us walk in fear, we stand against that in the precious and powerful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And we use those words, the powerful words of God, to stand against fear. Um using scriptures like if God is for us who can be against us shall anything separate us from the love of God no in all creation nothing shall be able to separate us from his love we may perceive a separation if we allow the enemy access to what we believe does that do you hear me if we allow the enemy access to what we believe but we've got to believe the word of God and what his promises say. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Picture that, folks. Okay, We may be in a battle, but there's a banquet on the battleship. Hallelujah. The people of God are separated they are protected. God wraps his arms around us as a church and as individuals. He is carrying you and he is carrying me. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son to save us. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to rescue us. We find ourselves in your lap, cloaked by you. Father, we are in your presence. Lord, your word says we are seated with him in heavenly places. So, and Jesus said, come before the throne of God boldly. So when we come before you, God, we are there. We are before the throne of God. Even though our physical bodies are here, there's a reality wherein we are also before you. Lord, you said, um, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. So we seek your face, Lord. Hallelujah. God is a rewarder of those who seek him. What does it mean to seek him? It means to pursue him with prayer, praise, and petition. To 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 abide in him. John 15 says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you want and it'll be done for you. By my father, with promises like that, hallelujah. So we pray that the Christians in Afghanistan, 
would be wrapped in a grace bubble, that they would be protected by the will and the power and the arms of God. And those who you love, Lord God, which is everyone, Lord, you said it is not your will that any should perish, but that all should come to the knowledge of our Lord. So we pray for the Muslims. We pray indeed for the Taliban, Lord, that there would be a revival that breaks out in that land and that people who are currently slashing and dashing your children, would they themselves find themselves crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, they live. Father, reach out your hand to heal. Spare lives. Spare eternal lives, we pray. Pray for your enemies. Pray for those who despitefully use you. Lord God, we lift up our leaders. We pray, Father God, that you would get get a hold, that you would grab a hold of those who seem uh, bent on destroying this country. And I pray, Father, that you would cause them to repent, cause them to repent of their actions, their sins that are leading to the death of many, many people and future calamity as um, evil people pour across our borders uh, without any sort of rhyme or reason. We just pray, Father God, that you would raise up godly leaders and that you would take out of power ungodly leaders. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Give wisdom to those who seek to do your will. Help them, God. Eric is home, but his mom, Laura, is still in the hospital and doing better. Lord, we lift up the sick among us. Eric and Laura, my, my, uh, my friend John, Lord, we lift up those who are struggling. Uh, my buddy in Atlanta with over 40 members of his church out with, um, with the uh, Dealey Wobber that's going around. <laughs> Father, would you give them all wisdom Help them find quick healing. And Lord, I pray that you would give us all wisdom to know what to do and how to do it. Show us what to say. Show us what to do. Give us wisdom. Lord, let truth be revealed. And let all deception be found out. Lord, you said, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. So, Lord, we cry out for wisdom. Show us how to obey that command. Show us the exact way. Lord, I love, I love in the movie The Hiding Place, that old movie from the 70s, how you snuck your word into the, the, uh, the Nazi concentration camp. Thank you, Lord. There's a time. There's a time to obey God rather than man. And we pray, Father, that you'd give us wisdom. Show us exactly what to do. In Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for revival in America. Save our loved ones, Father. Lord, we pray that you'd pour your spirit out upon our children and grandchildren, that they might know you, love you, serve you, delight, that they would find their delight in you as we do. Thank you, God. You're so kind. You're so good. What are you, what are you saying there, Jimmy? Had a great weekend with Haley planning Dwayne's celebration of life for September. What a great daughter he has. Mm. Wow. Well, I pray for that event, Father, that you will bless it and that your word would go forth during it. Thank you, Lord. Well, Will, Beth, Jim, friends, and all who will watch later, Carol, 
everybody who uh, frequents the show. Lord, I, I pray for my friend Brad out in, uh, out in uh, Bernie, Texas, and his um, Hope for Heroes program. Father God, would you protect our military? Would you protect our law enforcement? Would you protect our National Guard? Lord, would you bring revival to all of our troops? Thank you, God. And Lord, give comfort to those who are watching what's going on in Afghanistan and, and wondering if all of their work was for nothing. Give, give us wisdom, God, to know how to encourage our comrades, our, not comrades, but our, our fellow uh, brothers and sisters in uniform. They are loved, they are cherished, they are appreciated. We love them. Thank you, God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Well, guys, have an amazing day. I appreciate you. God bless you. If you, if you have any prayer requests, any particular needs, let me know. We will be happy to add those prayers to this program. Have an awesome day. God bless you. And God bless America. <laughs> Check out the John Morgan Show later at 5 o'clock.